Yeah. Hello, this is Dave Gleason, Chief Horticulturist with Domex Super Fresh Growers. Today we're talking to Jerry Mertz in one of the orchards in Seela, Washington. Jerry, thanks for joining us today in your beautiful orchard. Uh, Jerry, how important are bees? Uh, what are they doing out here in this flowers and in, in this orchard? Oh, very important. Without the bee activity out here, we wouldn't have a cherry crop. Well, the bees get out here and they attack this nice bloom. They'll get inside this flower looking for the nectar that sets down inside there and as they climb in there on the, to grab their nectar they get the pollen that is on the top of those little shoots there on it. And they'll, they'll get that on their body and as they go around they'll travel around from flower to flower transferring it and getting it on the little pistol inside there pollinating and setting the, setting the cherry for a good quality cherry. Without the bees, you might have some fruit, but it wouldn't be good quality fruit. So, do you know how many hives you guys try to get in per acre on cherries? On cherries, usually about three uh, hives per acre. Well, Jerry, this can be a really crazy business. Uh, all year long, we're doing everything we can to put as many flowers on the trees as possible, and then we bring in thousands of bees to set every flower. And once they've done their job, we've got too many flowers set, too much fruit. What happens next? What do you do to balance that crop load? Well, here on this ranch, when we have an extremely large bloom we feel like it's going to set, we actually come in and do a little bit of hand thinning ourselves. Uh, we come in and we'll pull, the, pull some of the blossom off the top, just trying to relieve a little bit of this bloom so that tree can give a lot more nourishment to fewer cherries. Um, kind of a double-edged sword though, it, you sit there and it, we still got a little bit of frost season left so you could get a cold night, you might have damaged yourself or if everything works out great you'll have large cherries but if you leave the bloom chances are you'll have a lot of small cherries and might not meet today's market. So timing is important, you can work at it at bloom and then after you see the set sometimes you can come and take some more off then? Yes you could come in later and a lot of people are uh, when they see the fruit on there and you could definitely tell what your set is they'll get in there and they'll use rakes again I've also went back in and just physically put thin cherries off by hand at that time also we've also come in where we see large clusters on some stuff and actually come in and prune the tree later in the year. Boy, what a beautiful place to be today. This is just spectacular. Uh, this has been Dave Gleason with Domex Superfresh Growers. If you'd like more information, check out our website, superfreshgrowers.com. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter.